Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Foryam and welcome to the channel. In today's Minecraft video, I will show you guys how to make a mob XP farm. This will allow you to get tons and tons of experience on your world or server in no time. Uh, this works on 1.15, currently I am on the 20W17A snapshot, so it will also work for 1.16. I'm not exactly sure if it will also work for future versions, but um, if it does, then I will definitely update the title. Of course, this one is survival friendly, so I will show you exactly what you need and at the end of the video we will also hop to my survival world so you can see it in action right there so guys let's get right into it okay so the first thing you're gonna do is obviously find a mob spawner this can either be a skeleton spawn or a zombie spawn they both give the same experience at the moment and um, the tactic will also work for both mobs now that you have found your spawner, we're gonna check the items which we're gonna need exactly. First off, bring enough blocks, especially in survival mode. Uh, doesn't really matter which block you like, but uh, for building stone will be just fine. Then uh, enough torches, because uh, we're gonna make the area a little bit brighter in order to prevent them from spawning. Then five signs, one soul sand, 22 kelp, also two water buckets in order to make a infinite water source, two chests, uh, three stone slabs and also a hopper. For your treasure room or your farming room, you will definitely need a little bit more items, but um, this will be enough for the essential stuff. So right now we're gonna start building. First thing we're gonna do is make this area a little bit bigger to maximize the efficiency of the spawner itself. This will allow you to get more zombies in a short amount of time. We're gonna make a room of nine by nine by nine. This means we're gonna have to dig four blocks on every side of the room, just like so. We also do this for the height and the depth of the room. And now you should have something like this. The room should be entirely closed. You should have four on top, four on the bottom, and also four on the four sides. Exactly nine by nine by nine. Now we're gonna add some lighting because in survival mode this is quite important. And what you're gonna do is place your first stone slab right on top of it because this will prevent zombies or skeletons to spawn on top of it and will make it a little bit faster for us to get experience. Okay, so that was step one. Now we're gonna have to choose two places where we want our mobs to go up and also where we want to farm our experience. First off, I'm gonna start right here. You're gonna dig three deep because this is where our mobs will go up. And this place is where I am going to make my safe haven where I can farm for my experience. You can also do it on this side, whatever you prefer. So I'm gonna dig this out a little bit and I will be there in a second. And there we have it. This is my little farming room. In total, it's four deep, one, two, three, four. And what you can do on the first row is build glass panes if you want to look at the mobs falling down. But um, in my opinion, that's not really necessary. We're also gonna close this up because the next thing we're gonna do is add water right there. Um, if you were in survival mode, you only need three buckets because we're gonna make an infinite water source, like I said. So you're gonna place one water bucket right there and the second one right there. So right now you can just keep filling up your water buckets without having to go back to uh, wherever you want to uh, get your water from. Okay, so now we have an infinite water source, we can place down our water without a problem. We're gonna place one right in this corner and the second one right there. And then afterwards, if you're in survival, you're just gonna fill these up because you're gonna need to place more water later on. And now we have the water flowing from the right all the way to our little entrance, but not entirely. So we're gonna have to dig out a little bit more of blocks, which we're gonna do right here. So you're gonna dig these away. And also the next ones. A quick fun fact, while I was doing this on my survival world, I actually managed to get my hands on 22 diamonds with my looting three. There was a chunk of nine diamonds sitting right underneath the spawner. So if you're interested, I have added the seat with the coordinates of the spawner in the description. So now we have all the water flowing right to this place and we're gonna dig three more blocks deep. So right now it's three in height and three in depth. Um, we're gonna place our first four signs. One, two, three, dig away one more block, four. And at the end, we're gonna place one soul sand because this one will operate as an elevator when there's water on top. And for this elevator, we're gonna have to go up 22 blocks. So here we go, one, two, three. 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And right now we're going to place a torch. So we are exactly right here. So we're going to have to go to the opposite side and we're going to take two more up there because our skeletons are or our zombies are two in height and we're going to go like this. And then we're going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to go all the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and then we can go straight ahead because this will be the perfect place where our little zombie farm will end. Let's place some torches right here as well. Okay, so now we are pretty much done with the essentials for this mob spawner. What we're going to do now is finalize it by making our elevator work. So we're going to go right back to this place. And we're going to go all the way up again. And we're going to close it down. Because we're going to place one water source block right here. Um, on the other side, we're going to place our last sign. We already used four, so this is the fifth one. And we're going to place the water bucket right there. So now the water will flow that way. And the mobs will always fall down in this little drop shaft. And they will end up with very low HP. And allow us to kill them very easily. So now, next thing is you're going to remove this block. And we're going to go all the way down. There we go. And now you will see that our elevator won't work yet because we don't have water source blocks. You will see the bubbles from the soul sand, but it will not have any effect. And this means uh, we don't have water source blocks yet and this is easily made with kelp. So you're going to place kelp all the way up and this will make all the water turn into source blocks. There we go. So right now this elevator will work so we can jump down again and let's check it out quickly. And now you can destroy the kelp because then it will go up and show you exactly that the elevator is working just like that. Okay, so now that our elevator works, there's only one thing left for us to do, and that is to make our hopper with the chest. First off, you're going to destroy these three blocks, and you're going to place your chest right here on the first two ones, and also dig two more holes. Oh, this sand is pretty annoying. But then you will aim your hopper onto the chest with sneak, so you can place it like so. Um, place two more blocks right there, and then everything is sealed up. For the last final touch, you're going to place one slab up there and another slab right there. So now the mobs won't be able to get out of it. Um, sometimes, only sometimes, uh, the little zombies will come out, but um, that's why I always place one extra right there for the time when I am standing idle or AFK and then when I return I simply break it and then you can start killing them with your sword. And there you have it. Now we are pretty much done with the build. Uh, last thing we're gonna have to do is put out the lights, but since you are uh, planning to build this on your survival world or server, I am going to hop to mine as well. So I'll see you there in a second. And there we go guys, this is my new design for the zombie XP farm. Of course, as inspiration I used a zombie head to keep these bad boys inside. But um, it is pretty functional as well because I'm using this little slab right here to prevent the baby zombies from coming through. You can also take armor with thorns to prevent them from killing you uh, because they will have very low HP when falling down. But let's give you a quick tour. So I also have uh, my enchantments room. Uh, it goes up to level 30 of course uh, with all the necessities you need for the enchants and then a little room to relax. Uh, two beds and also some chests with loot. Uh, right here you can see that we already found some diamond armor, lots and lots of uh, golden armor and then obviously uh, the rotten flesh. They just keep stacking up if you do this for a little while. But guys, very important, we're gonna have to change something in our game rules because at the moment uh, a value is set on default which actually breaks your XP farm a little bit. 
This game rule is called Max Entity Cramming, which you can see right here. It was introduced on 1.11 and this means that at a certain point when there are an X amount of mobs altogether, they will start suffocating each other. And this default value is I think on 24, so if there are more than 24 zombies on our spawner, they will start dying. So what you're gonna do is take this command. I'm also going to add it in my description so it will be easier for you guys to paste it. And you're gonna go to your console and you're gonna type this in right there. Uh, so slash game rule max entity cramming. And I think 250 is perfectly fine. You can also put it to zero because then it will go to unlimited. But this might crash your server if you're standing AFK for quite some time. And while we were changing these settings, we were AFK in our farm. So right now we probably have many many zombies to slaughter so guys let's get right into it um currently um we only have to remove this little slab right here and then we can start killing them and uh, for the weapon guys i recommend you to take something with looting three uh, my weapon house clean pretty much does the job for me right now i was pretty lucky with the enchants i currently have six including looting two uh, and sweeping edge and with sweeping edge you can deal a lot of damage in one hit so guys look at this now it will start lagging a little bit for the first seconds also gonna kill these guys right here and as you can see um i'm getting tons and tons of experience so uh the xp bubbles are following me like crazy right now um also all the armor is dropping right there and it's going straight into the chest my hopper is probably overloaded because all the items they just keep popping up and it looks like we already got quite some chainmail right there which is really really nice one more attack and we should be level 30 look at that there we go so as you can see um it goes pretty fast also we gathered all these valuables all right, so guys, that is pretty much everything you need to know in order to make a successful mob XP farm for your world or server. If you like this video, definitely make sure you hit that like button because it helps me out a lot, but also other players that are currently looking for a video like this one. If you really enjoyed watching this one, also consider subscribing. It is entirely free and of course will give you a lot more content to watch in the future. I will make videos similar like this one and also building designs, so definitely check that out. Guys, thanks a lot for watching once more. I'll see you very soon. 4am. Out.